The Costa Serena is one of the world's most spectacular cruise ships. Famous throughout Europe, she is part of an award-winning green fleet. She is longer than the London Bridge and her decks cover more space than 20 football fields. With 3,800 international passengers on each cruise, the 1,000... is Cruise Ship Diaries. Eugene Mendoza is from the Philippines and works as a bar waiter on board the Costa Serena, an Italian cruise ship which takes international guests on seven-day Mediterranean cruises, each journey starting and finishing in Venice. The ship is due to leave the port in just an hour. Eugene can't be late. He works at several of the 13 bars on board. They must be well stocked each week over 5,000 bottles of wine and about 3,000 litres of beer are now being loaded. The crew have worked all day to prepare for the 3,800 guests who are about to board. The maintenance teams must work quickly. No workers can be visible once passengers step onto the ship. The ship's 14 guest decks won't be quiet for long. Below the 14 guest decks is deck zero. This is where most of the crew live. Yeah. Eugene's shift starts in 10 minutes. Eugene is one of over 300 people from the Philippines who work on board. Many of them in the food and beverage departments. The assistant cruise director, Paolo Olivero, has only a few minutes of downtime left. Thank you. It's going to be a busy week. In the galley area behind the bar, the new hotel director, Attilio Sisa, is getting to know his staff. Edward, please. Attilio has just started his four-month contract and is well known for his high standards. He is responsible for all aspects of guest satisfaction and works very closely with everyone in the food and beverage department. Attilio has worked on cruise ships for 32 years and knows that guests have great expectations. Clients are coming on board because they wanted to eat well and they wanted to have a very nice entertainment. There are difficult guests, men difficult guests, to uh, smack you on the face, let's say, or spit on your, fa on your face. You know, it happened in the past, unfortunately. We have to accept at all times, any times, anything which is coming from the life, negative or positive. Almost all guests are now on board, and there have been no complaints, yet. The chocolate bar is always a main attraction, but behind the scenes, things aren't quite as sweet. 
Don't you think, like I told you before, that it's better that you wash your hand before you touch the food? Yes. So wash your hand first, please, like I have done myself when I enter into your bar. Attilio is putting extra pressure on his crew for good reason. Auditors from Genoa will be on board this cruise. They will conduct a week-long inspection, an intense assessment of all working areas of the ship. Points will be awarded and deducted. Yes or no? Jobs are on the line. Did you desanitize the apple itself? Did you? Yes or not? Yes, of cross-contamination. Cross How many points do we lose because of the cross-contamination? If you do not respect the instructions. No, you don't lose five points. You don't know nothing, my dear. So it's better you start now. You have five days' time in order to improve your knowledge. And then when I come back, I will question you again. And you will answer on a proper way. OK? Very good. Thank you very much. Sanitation in all areas relating to the preparation of food will undoubtedly be one of the main focuses of the inspection. It's a critical issue that's always taken seriously, not only during an audit. When you're on a ship and there's a virus on board, it spreads out so easily. We had norovirus here on board a few months ago and it affected more the crew than the passengers. All the departments were losing personnel. We had to go through the master disinfection plan. It's activated only when you reach this certain percentage of sick people. And then we had to report to hotel director about the sanitation five times a day. Sanitize everything from the books in the library to the children's toys to uh, forks and knives and spoons in the stuff mess, everything. That's the only way to stop it. Attilio is determined that there'll be no outbreaks okay. on his watch. The holidays, we have to smile. There's no need that we cannot smile. And just let me tell you a trick. Federica Gianmarioli is the cruise director on board and is in charge of guest entertainment. She's briefing her entertainment team about the week-long audit ahead. It puts a lot of pressure on us. We all know that the work is done in the proper way, but when you have somebody come in to supervise, <laughs> you're always scared that they might just see that little tiny thing. We are a team, so we have to work as a team. The dancers will also be affected by the audit. They are new to the ship and performed the show for the first time recently. What's it doing? It didn't go well and Gerald, the choreographer, was not impressed. You f***ed up every number in the show. Get it together. Know your f when you come to the show. They have a lot of work to do before the performances this week. The theatre will be inspected by the auditors, and this means less time on stage. It's up to Lindsay Clutter, the dance captain, to pull the show together now that Gerald, the choreographer, has left. Paola has heard that the inspectors might already be on board. All departments have been briefed. They're here. The auditors have requested a meeting with the captain and all department heads as soon as possible. For guests, a dream vacation is about to begin. The crew it could be the start of a nautical nightmare. The Serena is ready to leave. On the bridge, Captain Giuseppe Russo and his second officer, Christian Cotugno, must now focus on manoeuvring the ship safely out of the busy port. They have plotted the week ahead carefully. Although this evening is clear and calm, the weather forecast is not good and Christian has suggested a course hugging the coastline closely. Actually, I am the one to plan the course of the ship, together, of course, with the captain. It's called waypoints, so it's just for whoever is using a GPS nowadays knows about waypoints. So it's just a mark, and getting all these marks together, you've got the, the course of the ship. You have to study the place where you are passing through, if the, the, the water is deep enough, how uh, is the current, and from which way is better to approach the port, and all this stuff. I'm really in love with this job.
In the underbelly of the ship, the chief engineer Francesco Iorio is trying to work his schedule around the audit. It messes with his week's program considerably. He has some major work planned for one of the engines. He'll have to reschedule, and this won't be easy. Right now, he's due at the audit meeting, but needs more time. Are we going to wait for the chief engineer? Uh, no, we don't wait. Uh, thank you for the participation, Captain. This audit uh, is going to be an integrated audit. I don't know if you have read already the program. Today, we are going to start after the meeting. OK? When the, the captain is on the bridge, of course, the captain is in charge and he has responsibilities. But uh, when the captain is leaving the bridge, he's giving full power to the officer that is on duty. Put star for five uh, and tell me every five degrees, please. Star five. The bridge is the most protected area of the ship and can control every inch of every deck. I remember watching when I was young, when I was a baby, I remember watching these movies when you press a button and you close doors and open ventilation. It's like this. From the bridge you press a button and just close all the doors of the, of the ship or uh, stop the ventilation here, open on the other side and make that cabin cool and that cabin warm. <laughs> it's nice, it's really nice. While passengers familiarize themselves with the ship, the dancers get back to rehearsals. Backstage, Lindsay and Angelo Vasco, the stage manager, are preparing for the audit. Backstage is going to be under close scrutiny. Yeah. With lights, costumes and props, the area is a major fire risk. Flammable substances are banned from the dressing rooms. That includes hairspray, deodorants, in any type of glue. Many points can be lost if anything is found stored above what is known as the fire line. Costumes will have to be hung somewhere else. New dancer Heather survived her first week on board and Gerald, the choreographer. Well, after the first show, he came in and he... <sighs> wasn't nice. Because every single number you screwed up. The boys work their asses off, they love your big asses up, and they work. And you guys come and you kill the boys. When Gerald left, we all managed to relax a little bit more. <laughs> Heather's second week started slightly better. It's not too bad so far. Apparently the weather gets a little bit worse. And then I think it's going to be uh, interesting. Francesco has managed to reorganize the schedule and has shifted the major engine maintenance. If it's possible. Better late than never. Did you read the program? Is there anything you no, no, need to modify? Agreeing. No, no, it's okay for me. There's no problem. From our side, I think that this is all. See you in the next few days. Okay, well, thank you, everyone. Uh, Beppi, the head of adult entertainment, has told his team that he is changing the lineup for tonight. It's not easy to please an international group, but he has a plan. On board, we have more or less 35 for different nationalities. It's too much. They say something in English, you laugh, but the German people know. The French people don't, don't, don't laugh. And you translate the same thing in five different languages, it's impossible everybody laugh. Uh, it's very difficult, but <laughs> I don't find the problem here. He's told his boss, Paola, about his daring idea to break all language barriers. She thinks he's crazy, but the team is excited. I love Paola, I love her. So every time when I touch her in, like, uh, I don't know in English, what is in English? She laughs, and I like. <laughs> 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 no time for games on lower decks. The auditors have begun their inspection of the storage areas of the ship. With fire being the most feared disaster on board, the safe storage of flammable fluids, maintenance of firefighting equipment and the way all items are packed is inspected thoroughly. 
Even the corridors and the management of waste is checked. The sorting of trash is rigidly enforced. The Costa Serena is considered a green ship, but must work hard to maintain the status. As the auditors head to the rope room, the dancers are ready to shine. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Jewelry Fashion Show. Fashion shows, we do two a week. We're strange when you first do it. I mean, some of the other girls have done fashion shows on other trips that they've been on. So they're all like, da, da, da. And I remember the first time I did it, I was like, oh, what do I do? Where do I look? But um, you get sort of used to it. So it's quite fun, really. The ship has two rope rooms, and it's the one at the back of the ship where the inspection ends today. In the area known as the Crew Beach, Eugene takes advantage of the momentary cell phone signal. Very nice to hear that uh, some good news in, uh, with my family, you know. Eugene's wife is pregnant. When he sees her again in about five months' time, the new addition could have already been born. Like Eugene, many crew members from the Philippines work as bar or restaurant waiters, as well as in the galley. The dining room is fairly quiet now, but Bartolo, the maitre d', knows that tomorrow night things will be different. It's Italian night, and for most cruisers, a highlight of their time on board. Authentic Italian treats will be loaded onto the ship when she docks in Bari tomorrow. There are some more surprises on the menu. A group of waiters have asked to perform for the guests just before dessert tomorrow night. The hotel director has given his permission as long as the performance is practiced and slick. On top of their other duties, like the jewelry fashion shows, the dancers have been rehearsing late almost every night in preparation for the show. Last night we finished at about half two, quarter to three in the morning. And I used to wake up fine at home and now, because there's no natural sunlight in the cabin, so you wake up and it's as dark as it would be at sort of three in the morning. So I've slept through my alarm a couple of times. But late nights are part of the deal in the entertainment department. It's rare that the entertainment team ever get to bed before 2 a.m. In the grand bar on deck five, Bevy's plan is revealed. Luca, the second maitre d', is rehearsing the waiters wanting to dance tomorrow at Italian night. They 
love music, Filipinos. They love music, they love to sing, they love to dance. It doesn't really happen on every ship. Back in the Grand Bar, some gentlemen are about to undergo an extreme makeover. Eugene is finished for the night. He shares his cabin with another bar waiter who is still on duty. Eugene uses the alone time to catch up on world affairs and to reflect. The hardest part is uh, the children. When they start to talk, you, uh, you tend to uh, they tend to have a uh, chest ache when they're talking on the phone. You appreciate what you have. You're working in a good company, you're earning good money. If you watch news sometimes, regularly, you see that everywhere there's a economic problem. So tends tends to uh, you tend to appreciate that uh, you're one of uh, the luckiest, you know. All the best to me. It's early morning and the Costa Serena is approaching the Italian port of Bari in Italy, infamous for its narrow margin of entry. Today, there is an additional challenge. There are several vessels, including another large cruise ship, taking up much of the port's limited docking space. There is no room for the Serena to turn into position. In Bari, there is the option of turning the ship inside or outside the port. It depends on how is the traffic. And the ports have been built maybe 100 years ago with the dimension of the ships or 100 years ago. The ships are getting bigger and bigger and the number of ships is just growing every year more and more and more. We change the program. Because there is a, a ship blocking the turning basin inside, we have to turn outside. You have to trust your captain, you know. And everywhere in the world is known as the best maneuver. It's not only because I say, Everywhere in the world is known as the best maneuver. One, two, zero. The captain's maneuvering skills are now being tested to the max. 
he has to get the ship into docking position before entering the internal basin. In such a tight situation, communication with the sailors in the rope room at the back of the ship is critical. The team must be aware of the proximity of other vessels from every possible angle. Recently, in a similar situation, a ship collided with a pier in this port, resulting in costly damage to both the ship and the dock. Living up to his reputation, Captain Russo manages to maneuver the ship into perfect docking position, even with the limited space. sailors in the rope room then swing into action. Securing a ship this size is a major operation and can only be carried out by trained professionals. On the mooring necks, you can kill someone, you know. You are working with 10 lines or sometimes even 12 together. But it's like really like an orchestra, you know. You have to move the winch in order and don't, not to make one work more than the others. There is a technique. As guests disembark to explore, Chef Ciro Perfetto has one thing on his mind. Italian night. His delicate cargo is now being loaded. 250 kilograms of fresh mozzarella made just 36 hours ago by a traditional dairy in the region. The cheese must head straight to cold storage. Fine cheese is essential with so many Italian guests on board. Every week, the ship loads 500 kilograms of Parmesan and at least 24 other varieties. The mozzarella must be eaten soon after production or it will swell and become spongy. Temperature control is everything. Chef Ciro has another special delivery. The dancers have some time out. The auditors are in the theater. Several of the dancers have been warned that if they don't lose weight, they'll be cut from the show. Always looking good is part of the job. Yes. You want another? <laughs> When I have the meeting with my guys, I thought, you wake up in the morning, you go in the toilet in the bedroom, you see in the mirror, just, uh, you put the water in your face, you make it like this, you go out with the door like this every day, and you put it, the, you have the problem inside. <laughs> Hello. This is the job. This is the job. Right now, the job at hand is the inspection of the theater. Moving sets can be dangerous. If a dancer were to fall or get trapped beneath any part of the moving stage, they could be seriously injured. The auditors must test the safety stoppage mechanisms. Okay. It stopped. While many guests have gone ashore, there are several who seldom leave the ship, no matter where it stops. They seem to prefer the Italian experience on board. On the bridge, Briefing his officers about the executive fire drill due to begin shortly. A complex drill like this is not easy to execute. There is no room for error. Every drill is treated as a real emergency. The worst thing that can happen to a vessel, to a ship, is to have a fire on board. On board we have four fire teams 
and each fire team has to be trained at least once per week. In each drill, the captain simulates a fire in a different area of the ship. Today, it's in the laundry. Fire drills are draining exercises for the officers. Functioning effectively inside the firefighting equipment takes much practice. Even though he's only 26, Christian has more experience than most. We were cruising and we actually saw, we, we, were, we were seeing that we have having a ship in front of us and in five minutes there was just a ball of fire, that's it. You really can't understand how it's possible that a fire can take all the ship like that, you know. First, the team must locate the source of the fire, cut all ventilation to stop it from spreading, and rescue someone trapped in the storage area of the laundry. The lead party heads into the danger zone. A base team hangs back and guides them via remote imaging that can scan through the smoke. Once the victim is located, he must be moved as quickly as possible. The most tough was, part was to take out the injury man. Because it's so difficult even to breathe normally, just to breathe. We can Plus when you have to carry to an extra weight our, our, and you have to walk backwards, it's not easy. I, anyway, we are very happy. It was really good. game at 5 p.m. in a few more minutes. As the ship leaves Bari, everyone in the galley is preparing for Italian night. On deck zero, there is preparation of a different kind. On board, one of the bar waiters is famous for his hair cutting skills and takes appointments before big events. Make me very handsome. It's the chief engineer's turn to feel the heat. The auditors have reached the engine rooms. Non lo so come ti devo dire, ma la compagnia è questo che vuole. Many disastrous fires at sea begin in the engineering areas of the ship. The inspectors must check every component inside and out. The watertight doors are vital elements of the ship's emergency safety mechanisms. In the case of a breach, these doors seal off flooding compartments and isolate them from the rest of the ship. With about 25,000 square meters dedicated to the technical functioning of the ship, this inspection could take a while. Attilio has decided to revisit the chocolate bar. As hotel director, he would like to see if the situation has improved since he last dropped by. I would like to have... Uh, OK. The temperature taken. Would you be so kind, please, to show me how much is the temperature of this cake? Smile a bit. <laughs> oh, gee. I'm not killing you today, eh? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> How much is supposed to be the temperature of this cake? Below 40, sir. No, it's not, it doesn't have to be below 40. It should be how much? 32.9. How much? You don't know. So I can tell you myself today. But the point is that you are supposed to know. Right now, Paola's day is going nowhere. She is trapped in one of the glass elevators in the atrium. She's been there for 10 minutes already. The technician is supposedly on his way. Yeah, somebody is inside. OK, 
okay? We have a standard, we have an image that should be kept. So I do not accept for someone who is on board since four months still you don't know which is the temperature of the cold food, which in my opinion is outrageous. So it's better you change this attitude, okay? Is anybody coming to fix the elevator? It's getting hot in here. It seems most of the engineers are busy with the audit on deck zero. Yeah. Elevation seems to be a problem in many areas of the ship. Yay! Thank you. Oh, I really did not enjoy myself. It wasn't the best part of my, of my day, that's for sure. Italian night is about to begin. Oh, he doesn't want to come back anymore. <laughs> no, he wants to stay with me. He wants to stay with me. In the galley, the eight chefs and their staff are preparing to serve tonight's share of the daily 6,000 appetizers, 13,000 main dishes, and 16,000 desserts. The mozzarella is ready to go. In the dining room, the waiters are being briefed about each dish. It's important that they're familiar with the ingredients and can instantly identify which menu item is which. For the waiters, it's almost showtime. Even though it's after midnight, on deck zero, everyone is feeling the excitement. And there's karaoke in the crew bar. No guests are ever allowed in the crew areas at any time. It's the one place where they can truly relax and be themselves. Even the dancers have taken some time off. Although the big show is around the corner, they need some downtime. You do have to be aware that you are on a ship and that you 
you're sort of in your workplace all the time, which is a bit strange. You can never fully relax and let yourself completely go, um, which is probably quite a good thing. <laughs> The crew mess is also busy at one in the morning. It's when many staff have finished their shifts and can finally grab something to eat. Christian has finished his watch for the night. He is engaged to Cheryl, the dancer, and they take advantage of the one night that Cheryl isn't rehearsing to eat together. He has told her that the weather ahead doesn't look good. She should warn the other dancers that they may be in for some turbulence. Today, the Costa Serena has docked in the little Greek fishing village of Katakolon. It's not only guests who get to enjoy the sunshine. Taking a break from the stress of the audit, the captain has asked the chief engineer Francesco, Christian and Lara, the tour manager, to join him for lunch at his favourite restaurant. Ah, so, yes, yes. Uh, only a few that, uh, yeah, we, we put in the middle, we just pick up. Uh, uh, octopus with uh, huge legs, like this. Back on board, the dancers have adjusted a few numbers to take the potentially choppy sea into account. I mean, sometimes I won't even think to myself, oh, the ship's moving, I'm going to wobble. You just kind of do. And we dance on chairs as well, so... That just adds another <laughs> problem. Start. Ah. I, will, I, will, I will get to one. No, 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 no. This is one kilogram a leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's a judge for money. Starboarden! Starboarden! The weather quickly changes. The wind has picked up. It's nice when there is a good weather because the sea is nice and smooth, but it's also nice when there is a very bad weather because this is the part of our job, you know. Even experience on this ship, you, you may get some waves that reach up to the bridge. As the ship heads back to Venice at the end of another journey, the auditors are about to reveal their findings. This will be a long and highly confidential meeting. The audit results. In the hospital on deck zero, Nurse Bianca is attending to a patient who has just fallen on the pool deck. Not a great way to end a vacation. The cast is under major pressure. Their big show is tonight. I messed up. Well, messed up isn't the word. I made a complete global beep up last week. I, mean, I think if I mess up like that again, I'll be fired. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> the feedback session with the auditors is almost over, and the mood has lightened considerably. It appears this ship is in good shape. No jobs will be lost this time. Showtime. Five minutes to go. Much better. Three, two, one. Let's go. Showtime.
weather tonight isn't bad enough to rock this boat. It's been a tough week for all on board. At last the auditors and the guests will disembark and a new cruise will begin. The crew will have to deal with magic and mayhem, dealing with major technical issues, crew politics and even death on board are all in a day's work. Next time on Cruise Ship Diaries, 